You looked somewhat out of place here. A deli bird? Why? Oh, the berry fields, okay. But yeah, the deli bird is not a Pokemon that I would have uh, really expected to find in Hawaii. Just saying that. Alright, so anyway, um. Let's see. Oh, hey, is that Team Skull or is that what? That's Team Skull, alright. Are you the same A and B that I saw earlier, or are you a, or, or are you a different A and B? Let's get figgy with it. Watch as I nana me some berries. No! Are you trying to... Are you trying to one-up the Silicon Studios writers? Yeah, I do, and that's that your puns are horrible. Oh, come on, I want the experience. All right, let's do this. not have any other moves to hit me with. Alright, so you're going to Verdant Cavern, so I guess I'll be seeing more of you guys soon. Now, um... Yeah, I guess. It's not like they were actually able to hit me for any damage or anything. That's an orange berry. Alright, well... <laughs> I assume this is going to be like it is in Kalos, where you just pick up berries off the trees and stuff. And then you can come into the berry fields and like plant them and they'll like hybridize depending on what you plant them next to or something and that's how you get the super rare berries and what have you. Um, I don't know if I want to mess with that. That's a whole like game mechanic that never really interested me or anything. That is another big mushroom. Okay, what's this? Is there any... No, no details on that. It looks like just um, farming equipment really. Um, what about this? Is this the compost bin or something? Yeah, alright, fertilizer. Uh, anything else? No? I'm not really interested in your compost bin, I'm just... That's a repel. Okay, so it looks like there will be hidden items that are actually hidden, and... Like, not denoted by, like, button press prompts and stuff like that. Anyway, what's in here? I'm just gonna raid your house. Because... Obviously. Um, this is a bunch of deli bird. I feel like looking in the trash cans in here for some reason. Because, uh... I don't know, I feel like here of all places I might find something interesting. Um, so do Deli Bird sleep in cat beds also? I'm not sure if they would really like that as much as... Can we stop talking about Malasada, please? That's enough. Alright, thank you. Um, I finally did go and eat lunch, by the way, so I'm not hungry anymore every time they mention food, but... You, uh... You might wish that they would talk about something else one of these days. Anyway, I guess we can leave now. <laughs> and... Let's see. This is a fairly linear path. You there, trainer. I'm noticing, by the way, that different trainers have different animations for throwing their Pokeballs. Is this still Route 2? I don't know if this is still Route 2 and if there's going to be like new encounters in this grass or anything. Um, you don't battle me, do you? You do battle me. The screen didn't go dark. It's funny.
Oh, come on. Alright, that's nice. I guess I'll leave the repels off just in case there's something else I haven't run into yet. Like I said, I thought this was still Route 2, but I'm seeing different encounters in the grass, so I'm actually not sure about that anymore. Super Potion. Unless, like, Route 2 has different sets of encounters for different, like, patches of grass or something. What is it? Oh, it's this guy. Sure, yeah. Okay. Alright, the PMC. What's the PMC? I feel like I would know this if I was paying attention earlier. As is usually the case. Oh, Pokemon Center? That's an odd abbreviation. Three revives. Alright, I guess that's pretty nice to have on hand. Yeah. I mean, I'm not exactly worrying about that. But... Alright, well, have fun with that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna... I'll, I'll go and talk to the, uh... I'll go and talk to all the people in there later on. But first, I do want to come out this way. Yeah, there's another battle to be had. Fly. How nice, that's a new one. Um, oh look, there's another trainer. So there's a number of trainers out here that I haven't seen yet. Pokemon that I just fought. And I still mopped the floor with it. Anyway, let's see, what's behind this? This is just a, uh, an item. Which is a revive. Alright, so that's four now. Um, I believe Hal gave me one not too long ago. See, anything else in this grass here? I got ambushed by something. Alright, it's time to throw a repel on again. Um, I fought you already, didn't I? Yeah, I fought you already. I came out this way earlier. And it looks like that's it. Okay. So I'm gonna go and visit the Pokemon Center again, talk to a few people. Actually, should I, uh... Critical hits are 50% more now. I thought they were, like, 30% more damage in Gen 6. And before that, they are obviously double. Did they change it again? Anyway, yeah, Soda Pops, healing Pokemon. I might as well just throw another one on because money is not an issue right now. Um, and I'm starting to doubt that money will ever be an issue in this game, really. How? I don't really feel like talking to you because you're just, I don't know, buying food or something. Um, are you going to have a different thing to sell than the other, uh, the other guy did? Alright, so you have Roserade Tea and Tapu Coco. as not like chocolate. Alright, let's see what the effect of this is. Pokepelago. An island far away. Is that like after game content? Hmm. Alright, I'm still not sure what the effects of these things are besides the different, like, cutscenes to play. Um. Let's see what a Rosary Tea does. Anything actually interesting that you'll tell me? Can you tell me more about this Pokepelago thing? Alright, so I think I've seen this one before. When I ordered the, like, pineapple juice or whatever it was. Alright. Anyway, Pokepelago is something to think about. Um, what is it? Do I have to go and find another Pokemon? That's nice. Cutie Fly on Route 3. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so I have to go and find one of those and bring it back to her. Alright, that's nice. 
Uh, what about you guys? Does any of the side of this building have anything interesting to say? Yes, that's how berries work. Um, I have caught a Spearow. Is it with me? Alright, I do have a Spearow. And it seems that I'll be able to access my PC during these trades anyway. That's nice. Let's see. I guess this is how I'm gonna get a Machop. I don't know if they're gonna be catchable later on. Hyla. This is a very flashy trade animation now. Macho. Okay, that's not a Harry Potter nickname or anything, but alright. So. Um. Alright, oh this is also gonna register Machop to the Pokedex. Do I have to go through this entire scene again? Rotom, please don't say anything. Fine, fine. Alright. Let's see, that's nice of you. I'm glad you like a Spearow better than a Pokemon who's actually good at what they do like Machop. Um, Alright, continuing on, I see at uh, this way there is a uh, quest marker thing, but I don't really feel like going there. I feel like going this way. Nah. Anything behind? No, nothing behind there. What is this? Is this a pile of berries? That's a leopard berry. I feel like I should be getting like 10 or 20 different berries from that thing. That's another leopard berry. Why do I have to pick them up individually? Alright. Whatever. Spearow! Alright, I have not seen one of these yet. Well, I've seen plenty of Spearow, but just, uh, not available for catching yet. Alright, let's see. I'm going to go and use Gust, because that's going to be, uh, I believe the most that I can do without, like, doing no damage at all. Wait, it's gonna be the most damage I can do, period. Um, since... Constrict probably won't do all that much. I don't think I need Constrict. Just struck a Pokeball. It's not like it can really do all that much to me anyway. So I'm just going to... It looked like I threw like a splitter or something weird like that. Um, with that Pokeball. The way it traveled through the air. But anyway. You escaped on the third try. On the third shake. Whatever. Anyway, Pursuit. That could actually sting. Please? No? Alright, that actually stung. Um, yeah, let's try again. And, uh, please catch this time, because I don't really want to see you, uh, like, pursue me again or anything like that. One. Two. Three. Thank you very much. Alright, Spearow has been caught. Don't really plan on using the Spearow. Um, so I used a Pidgeot once in Blaze Black a long time ago. Does that count? Because they're, like, similar creatures? I don't know. Anyway. Growlithe. Alright, I like Growlithe. I've already used this on a couple different Pokemon teams for YouTube though, so I'm not going to be using it. Um, alright, Growlithe. Let's see. This is only level 7, and it's a little bit weaker than some of the other things I've been fighting! Forgot you had that move. So, uh, yeah, let's not waste any time, because I don't really want to have to deal with a Growl again. One, two, three! Alright, that was not a guaranteed catch, and, uh, definitely didn't want to have to see another growl there. Or roar. Yeah, roar. Anyway, I gained experience, and, as I've said, I did quite like Growlithe, but I won't be using it on my team here, because I've already used it on several other teams. 